Another tone setter tonight. Emil Andre, oh. speaking of really, really strong Flyers rookies. Um, so much fun to watch right now. He has looked freaking excellent. Yeah. He had the one dip game in uh, in Carolina. Carolina's awesome. Oh, and yeah. I believe that was the game he was paired with Zamula as well. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but he ends up he ends up playing 25-40 tonight. Wow, uh, dude. A career high, nearly 22 of those minutes were at even strength. So mm-hmm. I just want to go through his uh, progression over the last couple of years. So in his uh, first game last season, when he makes the team, played over 16 minutes. And then in the next three, basically played like 12 uh, before getting sent down. They were really uh, they were really trying to shelter him after that first game last year. He was struggling. Uh, now this year, his nightly ice time, it's bounced around between like 14 and 17, basically. Middle pair minutes uh, for the most part. But he played 1955 against the Panthers on Saturday. He looked really good. Uh, and then tonight comes out and plays over 25 minutes, uh, over seven minutes in each period, played a minute 20 in overtime. He gets the assist on uh, TK's goal. He yeah. got the puck to Misha, and Misha got it back out in front to, uh, to TK. He had a coast-to-coast chance in the second. He's joining the rush. He's playing physical. He and Travis Sanheim are a hell of a pair. And this is something I would very much be interested in keeping together uh, when Cam York comes back. I, I, I just, I I like the way these two are playing together. No, I I do. I completely agree with you. I mean, in general, I just need Andre here because listen, he's playing with a lot of confidence and that's just boding well for him and the the rest of the pairings here. But it, I think for me, the bigger debate is going to be like, there's like first off, there's no way Andre goes back. Like I just don't see any way he goes back. But like who then who gets who gets sent out? Who gets get kicks off the island here? You know, it's a really really good question. I wonder if they'd risk waving Yegor Zamula. Um, I, I don't know, <laughs> what man. A loss, Bill. It's I, it's it's a really really interesting. I guess Anthony Richard is your first guy that will get sent down. I'm really enjoying him as well. I know. Um, the way I mean, the way the injuries have been working, even if somebody gets sent down, if now Anthony Richard is your first forward up, like these guys are going to play. You're going to have them in. Yeah. Uh, maybe Morgan Frost, maybe comes back in the lineup and they're like, you tweaked your ankle tonight, didn't you? <laughs> maybe you want to. Maybe you want to spend a week on IR. You know. Maybe like a little like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how they're going to handle it. It's going to be, they have a lot of very interesting decisions to make. Do they want to keep all three goalies? Like oh, now that time. Ivan Fedotov has at least earned like another start. Uh, he, he's backing up. Uh, I believe he was the backup goalie tonight. Like, all right, if Alexi Kolosov isn't going to play, he needs to play somewhere. Like he's a prospect. Yeah. He is a prospect aged player. Like Fedotov, it's like either have it or you don't. Mm-hmm. You're, you're almost 28 years old. But at 22, like, yeah, if Kolosov, I like what I've seen out of him. want to see him more in the NHL. But if we haven't totally thrown in the towel on Fedotov, well, then maybe Kolosov is the first guy out. That's probably the move that makes the most sense right now, uh, at least while you're getting something out of Richard. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle this over the next couple of games. Uh Like the mayor.